As a six-figure online business owner, Kajabi is literally my favorite platform to host and sell our digital products. So in this tutorial, I'm going to walk you through exactly how to create a Kajabi account, how to set it up to create a course inside of it, and what exactly that looks like, and basically step-by-step -step of how to do that if you're a beginner and wondering how to get started in setting up your online course on Kajabi. This includes creating the course outline, uploading your videos, and also creating the checkout links to actually sell your course on the back end. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. If you look to your screen, you'll actually see that there is an option to get a 30 day free trial. If you click on my link, it is the first link right below this video. You can actually get 30 days free of Kajabi, which is different from their typical 14 day free trial. So you can get an extra two weeks if you use my link below in this video. So once you pull this up, you're able to just simply hit like claim your free 30 day trial or hit start for free and then get started in filling out your account information and signing up. And then once you're signed up and logged into your account, loop back to this video and I'll walk you through the rest. Once you have your account set up and you are logged into Kajabi, it's gonna look something like this. It's kind of nice because in the upper left hand corner, they already direct you to getting started and creating a product, but you can also go to products here on the left hand side and hit get started to create your first product. And the nice thing is if you're setting up a course, they almost have like a structured template already in place for when you're creating products. So for example, I'm going to hit course right here and hit get started. And then you can create whatever title you want it to be. So I'm going to do example course right here just because we're doing this for the video. And then I'm going to turn this off. You can actually turn that on if you want. And basically it's an AI function of Kajabi where it'll automatically create an outline for your course based on the title of your course, which is kind of cool. I've actually played around with it before, but we're going to turn that off just for this tutorial. And then this is where you can add a bunch of different things like branding for your course. So if you have a course like image or example image, header image, you want to upload that right here. I'm just going to ahead and hit continue for now. And then this is where you can make your course free or you can make it paid. And then we're going to go ahead and skip this for now because I don't have a payment provider connected, but that's something that you're going to want to do if you want to set up, you know, payments and the checkout links and all of that. Make sure you set up um, connecting your payment provider right here. Of Kajabi obviously will walk you through all of that if you click that. I'm going to hit skip for now. All right. So whenever you are inside of your course, it's going to look something like this on the back end before you've added anything to it. So essentially, when you come down here, there are these modules, and then under each module, you can add lessons, which is really nice. Something to note here is that over on the right hand side, you can make modules be drafts, you can publish them to make them instantly go live, you can drip them so that they go out at a certain date at a later time, you can do that for a different post under each module as well. So to create a new module or a lesson, you simply hit add content right here. And then that's where you can create um, modules, you can create lesson, you can even create a quiz for your students to go through. You can import from another course that you have already in your library, which is really nice. You don't have to re-upload something twice. You can also hit in the upper right hand corner of this black button here. If you hit add content right there, you can hit like a brand new module as well and not have to create another module in this module in case you're wondering. So for example, let's create a module. Let's title it module one. You can add a description if you want to, even a photo. We're going to hit create module right here and then I can hit add content hit lesson and then let's do lesson one. And obviously I would name these whatever the lessons of my lessons are. I'm gonna hit create lesson right here. And then to edit these, you're gonna hit on the lesson name here and it will take you to the lessons page. This is where you're going to upload any video content. If you wanna attach a workbook or any PDFs. I always like uploading my a copy of my slides if it's a video lesson for my students in case they wanna download them and go through them. This is where the description of the video is gonna be. This is where I drop any links that I mentioned or anything else I want my students to know. So basically what you do is under here, here's the title. You can change the title if you want to. You're able to click video right here. You can upload a video lesson. You can also click audio and upload an audio as well, which is awesome. You can also hit, so besides the description down here, you can hit add files and that's where you can upload any, like if you want to upload an audio version of your video lesson, you can also upload, like I mentioned, uh, the slides. We also create a lesson, like if we have a workbook, we have a lesson specifically like click here for your workbook and then we upload the workbook under downloads right here. And then you can also select a lesson thumbnail. So once you upload a video, you can actually select a slide from the video to 
use as your thumbnail, which is really nice. So you can save this, work on this as much as you want, and then it won't actually go live to your students. Like if you're uploading new content until you hit published right here, which is really nice. So you can like work on stuff if you are like in the middle of updating your course. So let's go ahead and head back to the course page now. So that's essentially how you like create the modules and create the lessons under each module. And then the other thing I wanna show you guys is how to create a checkout link. So once you have this all set up and your course all set up in here, which obviously is gonna take some time, especially if you're uploading video lessons, the other thing that you're gonna need is a checkout link. Like how do people actually purchase this and then gives them access to this specific course. Good question. You can do all of that within Kajabi, which is so nice. It's a great like all in one platform. The first step you're going to want to do is go to sales right here. So we're going to click on that link and it's called an offer. So you're going to want to create your first offer, right? So let's go ahead and get started with this. So we're going to name this example course offer. And then you're going to select what products are in this offer. So obviously this is, we're creating this for our example course right here. So that means that if you select it, when someone purchases this offer link, like you give them this link, they purchase the offer, they're going to automatically get access to this product right here, the example course. Okay. So let's hit continue here. Um, again, you're going to want to make sure you connect a payment provider if you want to hit paid right here. But for now, we'll just create a free one just so I can show you like how to the setup of this. It will be exactly the same as if it was paid, but just make sure you're connecting. That means like connecting PayPal or Stripe or both of them. I do recommend both of them for different reasons, but that's a whole nother topic for another day. So when you are in an offer right here, what you're going to want to do, there's a lot of different options here, honestly, can be a little overwhelming, but if we're at the top, this is where you can see what products are in the offer. So if you ever want to change it out, add any products this is where you can add that in. Like if we're doing, say for example, we duplicated this and we wanted to give a special bonus for that same offer, we can duplicate this, add that bonus into that one offer, give them that link, and then we don't have to redo all of these different settings. So this is where you're gonna to wanna to come in, see on the right-hand side, if you hit edit right here, you can change the title. So this is the title that your students are going to see when they go to purchase, so keep that in mind. But then there's an internal title. So typically, like you can see, there's some that wanna automatically fill in here. But for example, we have RMC, March 22, 22 sale, one payment. So that way internally, like we can organize our offers because at the end of the day, like. Once you start going with this, you're gonna have a lot of different checkout links and to keep them all straight, you're gonna to wanna to have some sort of organization with your internal title. So just something good to keep in mind. Make sure you have an image right here, description, just a very fast description for your courses where you can change if you had the pricing, like change the pricing right here. If you do have a limit on quantity or you wanna set up payment plans, that's also where you would do it right here. Okay, we're gonna go back to details here. I wanted to show you, if you scroll down here, this is where you can decide like post purchase, what's gonna happen to that person? Like what page do they go to? If they get any email? So do we want them to go to the product member's product library? Do we want them to go to a landing page, a custom thank you page? Like you can customize all of that within here. We personally do an existing landing page and we have created landing pages that are very custom to our different offers. And they go to a specific page. It says like, thank you for purchasing. Go to your email for information. Here's everything you need to know. All of those sorts of things. You can also send them a custom email. Like you can either do the default which you can change in your settings. That's just like default to every product if you want it to be, or you can make it custom, which I personally recommend. So it's custom to like, for example, if this was for my Reels mini course, I'd say, hey, thanks for joining the Reels mini course, like mentioning the specific product, anything specific to that product that they need to know can go inside of this email. Another really important thing is automation. So if you hit click add automation, when this offer is purchased, you can have it do a lot of other things. The most important thing that I think is important is to add a tag. I like using the tagging system in here to se segment essentially who has bought different products and make that very easy for us to see. So for example, when someone purchases uh, our Reels mini course, they go in a tag that is titled Reels mini course. Okay. So you can do a lot of different things with that, but that is really helpful to know. Like when someone buys a certain offer, you can have it automatically automate like what exactly is going to happen after that, which is 
awesome. The last thing here before I show you something else is how to edit the checkout. So when someone is checking out with this link and how to get that link is you simply hit get link right here. This is the checkout link that we're working with, which we'll come back to in a second. But to edit that page, click edit checkout in the upper right hand corner. And this is where when you give someone that link that I just showed you, this is the page they're going to to actually purchase. So we want to make this look a little better, right? So you might want to put in like your own colors here. You might want to put in like you can change the coloring if you want to. You can change the banner image if you even want to have a banner image. This is where you'll change like you want to put the title, maybe a shortened version of your sales page here. You can even add in testimonials um, down here so you can add them like directly to the checkout page which I think is very um, impactful. We've done that for a lot of our products. This is where they would put in their information, right? So there's a lot of things you can bump in. You can add order bumps here. That's where you would do that within Kajabi. Um, yeah, there's a lot of different things you can play with here, but that is the main things. And then obviously when you're done, if you hit click get link, so for example, if I go to this link now, this is what that's gonna look like on the front end when you give someone that link to check out. Okay, so going back to our course offer, the other thing I wanted to show you is upsell. So I mentioned that order bump. You can add order bumps, so that's when someone gets to the end of a checkout, they can simply check box, like a checkbox, or check a checkbox to add a quick product onto their order. So usually it's for like more inexpensive things, like under $10, or maybe a little bit more if it's a higher priced, offer to begin with but in here you can click on upsells and after someone purchases it can automatically take them to an upsell page where you're pitching them another product that's similar that can also solve another pain point that's typically a little bit less than the initial product that they purchased or initial offer that they purchased it's automatically saying hey do you want if you liked this offer and you purchased it do you also want this or you can even have it go down a stream of events of pitching them two or three things after they offer so just a really important thing to mention like and so here's where you would select what offer it is you would want to go create that offer that you're wanting to upsell give it a title all of that stuff pricing and then you can add there's not a whole lot you can customize here which I wish you could customize just a little bit more but that is okay there's definitely lots of options here you can add the title add a subtitle if you want description all of that and you're able to get an idea of what that's going to look like if you go to preview right here I believe and then once you input all the information here, um, I don't have an offer to upsell, so I can't exactly show you, but when you finish, it will show up here and there is a button that says like preview. They can literally preview what the upsell page is going to look like when after someone purchases. So it makes it very simple. Okay, the last thing I wanted to show you within offers, so I'm gonna go back to the main offers page here, is like once you have this all set up for one of your offers, so like maybe that foundational like offer, like that's full price for one of your courses or products or whatever you're offering here. One thing that we really like to do is simply hit the little three dots here and hit duplicate and duplicate that here and it will duplicate everything you already set up. So you don't have to do it again if you're like creating a different price point or adding a bonus or something. So this creates a duplicate of that same offer. The only thing that you have to do when you come in here obviously make sure the products are correct if you're changing that at all, but any automations that you add, you have to add those in again. That's very important. So it will not duplicate and keep the automations that you already added to your offer. So just keep that in mind whenever you're using that feature of duplicating an offer. So essentially once you're ready to use the checkout link, like once you've created an offer, you simply hit get link and then we copy this link and we on our sales pages, use that as the link. Like when someone hits buy now on a product page, on an online course page, that's where it's taking it to, this Kajabi checkout page. And then from there, like whatever we have set up, if there's any upsells or order bumps or anything, it's walking them through all of that based on what we've set up right here. I'd love to know what other questions that you guys have about Kajabi. So if you drop a comment right below this video, let me know. What else are you wondering? Are there any other tutorials that we need to walk you through? Anything else you're wondering about how we use the program for our six figure business? Definitely let us know and I'd love to do more tutorials on this in the future. And like I mentioned, if you maybe already signed up and didn't get a 30 day trial and you want to re sign up with my link, be sure to do that before you hit pay for your subscription, right? So you can get 
30 days free of Kajabi before you actually get started with paying for your subscription. Seriously, it's so awesome that you can get an entire month instead of just the 14 days. So I'm excited to be able to offer that to you guys. The link is right below this video in the description. As always, hit subscribe, like this video. We upload new videos like this every Tuesday. So if you want more on just growing a business that you love, that supports your routines, supports the vision you have for your life, be sure to subscribe so you stay up to date on all our new content. Um, we cover topics like social media, Instagram, short form video, reels, passive income, so much more. So be sure to subscribe to stay up to date and I will see you guys in next week's video. Bye guys.